Yes, Sprint here. In this video, I'll be showcasing the build Whirlwind Charge Release. This is one of the most used meta mapping builds at the moment. This is a Lightning Element build. In this build guide, I'll be going through a two-handed version and a dual wielding version of the build. The pros of dual wielding is that you gain speed from dual wielding innately. You also have much lesser mana issues due to requiring lesser link runes. The pros of wielding a two-handed weapon are a very large whirlwind range. This means you rely equally on whirlwind and charge release instead of relying purely on charge release to do damage. The cons of dual wielding is that you are purely relying on charge release to kill mobs. This means you need very decked out equipment in order to map efficiently. Also due to a small whirlwind range, you may need to do some backtracking to kill off mobs they may survive. The cons of building a two-handed weapon are that you may run into severe mana issues if you do not have the right mana sustenance gear. An important thing to note is that Whirlwind dampens your movement speed. Ways to increase your movement speed are Unite Crop Variety Awakening, Acceleration from Zodiac, Guild Buffs, and certain Uniques. Something important to note is that when channeling, your attack damage, attack critical rate, and attack critical damage gets added to your spell attack, spell critical rate, and spell critical damage. I suggest not converting your Whirlwind to Lightning if you are dual wielding so your charge release can do more damage, but converting to Lightning if you are using a two-handed weapon for this build. You want to be focusing on attack speed despite charge release doing a bulk of your damage as Whirlwind scales off attack speed, not cast speed. These are the runes used when dual wielding. These are the runes used when wielding a two-handed weapon. A huge thanks to Automatic for letting me use their footage in my video. Zodiac for dual wielding can be found in this video's description, while Zodiac for wielding a two-handed weapon can be found in Automatic's video, also located in this video's description. Go subscribe to Automatic if you haven't yet. He is an endgame Korean player who does build showcases as well. More information about this build can be found in the video's description. For those who are still here and have not skipped to the skill preview yet, do tell me, do you prefer dual wielding or wielding a two-handed weapon? I hope you enjoyed the showcase.